Today I'd like to share with you the origin story of Tether. You might know Tether. Tether was the world's first stable coin, the first coin that was backed by, by an asset, in this case a dollar. Anyway, let me tell you a little bit about how stable coins got invented. So story starts about six years ago. Now at the time, the crypto space was in many ways a lot different than it is today, in some ways similar. Where it was way different is there were virtually no exchanges. And the few exchanges that existed, almost all of those, what we called altcoin exchanges, had no banking. Anything that wasn't Bitcoin was an altcoin. So what you would do is you would go to one of the few exchanges where you could actually send money by Bitcoin. Then you would transfer that Bitcoin to the alt exchange and use the Bitcoin on the alt exchange to buy all these other tokens, right? All good. All good except, remember, it's very volatile. All of the cryptos are still volatile, but they were just as volatile then. And every once in a while, in my case, three times a day, uh, I wanted to escape the volatility. But how do you escape volatility in crypto vis-a-vis -vis the dollar? Well, you sell your crypto and you shift into cash. But of course, the exchanges have no banks. So what do you do? You take your crypto on the alt exchange, you convert it into Bitcoin, send the Bitcoin back to one of the few exchanges that actually had banking, sell your Bitcoin there, have them wire transfer you the money. The in and out of that whole process took a week. Because what would happen is you would get your wire and then you'd be like, ah, but now I want to be back in the market. So send the wire back to the original exchange, get it converted into Bitcoin, transfer it over to the alt exchange. This was how we lived. Well, my partners and I started to think about, wouldn't it be great if there was a token that behaved like a dollar so you could just actually mimic a dollar and you could transfer into that token? Well, the only way we could think about doing it was to actually issue a token that was backed by a dollar. Simple conceptual concept, right? So we're like, hey, we can do this. Oh, but what blockchain should we use? Well. As it happened, we had just finished working with some people on something called MasterCoin. MasterCoin, by the way, was the first blockchain to incorporate an intelligent layer, what we now all call smart contracts. MasterCoin was faster, cheaper to use than Bitcoin. We're like, all right, let's issue MasterCoins that will back this new token that will be collateralized by a dollar. So we got the concept down. We got the blockchain, we got banking access, we even have an exchange partner to test this whole thing out. So that was four years ago. And what's happened since? Well, that token, Tether, now trades over $4 trillion annually. And something I always thought was really neat, this was the first time I experienced using blockchain technology to solve a blockchain-induced problem. So that was pretty cool. Let me mention a couple of other surprises from my experience creating Tether. The first really surprised me, which was it took a lot to explain the concept to people, which surprised me because I thought, wait a minute, tokenizing a US dollar? If you're, if you're a crypto exchange trader, how hard is this gonna be to understand? But the, the typical reaction was, you're gonna tokenize the dollar, but the dollar's already digitized. It already can move at the speed of light. Why would you even need to tokenize it? Well, we're like, well, wait a minute, you're not familiar with the pain points of trading cryptos. And of course we would go into that and sometimes they would get it and sometimes they'd still be like, we don't, we don't really understand. Just like today for all you crypto people, when somebody says, what do I need Bitcoin for? I've got a PayPal account and I always use it to buy something on Amazon and I'm a US citizen. Mm, what do I need it for? Answer, you probably don't need it, but there's like, 7 billion other people in the world who really could use something like that. So I thought that Tether should trade at $1 plus the value people got out of it from it being tokenized. Think of like if Litecoin also came with a dollar attached. You'd think, well, it's the price of Litecoin plus a buck. Since each Tether was backed by a dollar, but not bolted to the dollar in terms of evaluation, it's like we didn't stipulate anywhere that it was only worth a dollar. I thought Tether would be worth a dollar plus something else. But in fact, no. People valued it at a dollar and only a dollar. 
it says a lot about human nature and it actually shaped how I think now about security tokens and how they'll be valued. When we collateralize a token, we tend to remove all the other qualities that that token has other than the value of the collateral. And anyone building these sorts of tokens in the future should be thinking about that. If you liked what you heard today, please subscribe.